हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अक्षर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज गफर सर योर फिजिक्स फैकल्टी लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर सेशन टुडे वी लर्न क्लास नाइन फिजिक्स बिफोर एंटरिंग द टॉपिक आई विल शो सम पिक्चर्स सो विद दैट पिक्चर्स आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस द कांसेप्ट अंडरस्टैंड सो स्टार्ट वीइंग द पिक्चर्स हियर सो द पिक्चर्स द वेरी फर्स्ट पिक्चर इज ए ग्लास इज ड्रॉपिंग फ्रॉम सच एन हाइट so when the glob glass is dropping from certain height uh, it is broken but the same glass if you kept on the floor simply it can't break what is the reason behind that so think once and one more picture i'll show now the one more picture is a a pretty quarrel is uh, hitting the flower vase so that flower vase is broken so because of the uh quarrel hitting the flower vase is broken so what is the reason behind the thing just imagine and just find out and the one more thing is so a car is uh, striking something box so that box is moving so why the box is moving and what is the reason behind that let's think it it is a very beautiful color and the next thing is this is actually a hydrostatic power plant so you know hydrostatic power plant produces electricity but how the hydrostatic power plant is producing the electricity that is because of the water flow so how the water flow is converting into electricity and see imagine how such beautiful things the picture is showing here so so imagine what is happening in this picture so once think it so the, if you think it the total entire thing is explaining you the one concept that is nothing but energy so our topic is today is energy understand so let's start the energy today so i in one more topic with the energy we will explain one more topic that is law of conservation of energy that is a very important uh, for iit mains understand so we should learn that now so now let me start that energy and law of conservation of energy here so very first one is first we learn energy later we learn law of conservation of energy let's start the energy here the energy is so this is energy so what is the what is the thing what is the thing this is energy so energy means the capacity to work understand the energy means what capacity to work and the and the units for the energy are joules Look at here units for the energy, and we have one more units. So the CGS units, CGS, CGS units of energy is erg. CGS unit of energy is erg. Now let's see some forms of energies. So because because due to many positions, due to many situations, energy the object is having so that different types of energy we have. Let's see some energy types here. so very first one is chemical energy and the next one is electrical energy and the third one is mechanical energy and next one next one is thermal energy and nuclear energy now one more last and final that is gravitational energy but one thing here still learn which where you can observe this uh, electrical energy so exactly you can observe this electrical energy at batteries it's your right and where you can observe this electrical energy yeah you can observe this electrical energy across the bulbs across the geysers across the cloth when you are ironing so in the case you can observe this electrical energy and here mechanical energy so actually this part we need to study today okay and next thermal energy also you can observe when you heating something understand and next nuclear energy we can observe at nuclear reactors even you can observe in the sun also this kind of energy takes place so that we are having light every day and next gravitational potential energy also uh, gravitational energy, gravitational energy also called gravitational potential energy uh, so we can observe this today we learn this energy also so these are the types of energies now and now our intention is what today mechanical energy so let's start the mechanical energy and what is the mechanical energy forms let us learn now so the mechanical energy 
So what does it mean by this mechanical energy? The mechanical energy means the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy. Understand? Sum of potential energy and kinetic energy is known as mechanical energy. If you see this formula, it is telling that mechanical energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy. Understand? Let us learn first potential energy, later we learn kinetic energy. So, I will start the potential energy here. So, potential energy, what is mean by this potential energy? Potential energy means the energy possessed by the body by virtue, by virtue of its position or configuration is known as potential energy. Understand? Energy possessed by the bodies by virtue of its position or configuration. So, that is known as potential energy. You can, you can understand this potential energy uh, by pictures. I will show the pictures here. See, this is a picture. In this picture, a man is using the bow so to use the arrow. So, when man is using the bow, look at here, when we stretch the man, the bow is changing the shape. So, the arrow is moving forward direction. Understand? If the man is not changing the shape of the bow, will it is move the arrow? Yes, it cannot move. Understand? So, here, because of the changing shape of the bow, it possesses some energy that is known as what? Potential energy. So, that arrow is moving forward direction. Understand? One more picture I will show here. So, a gull is uh, moving the object here. When a gull is moving the object, or the object is certain height. So, for example, this is the object having actually some energy, that energy is known as potential energy. This is because of uh, height. Because of the height, the object possess energy that is known as potential energy. This is also called uh, gravitational potential energy because of the height. Now, I will show the formula for gravitational potential energy. Here, gravitational potential energy is equal to mgh. In this formula, m means mass of the body, g means acceleration due to gravity, h means height of the object where it is. Understand? So, this is all about gravitational potential energy. Yes. Next, children, next one more energy type is kinetic energy. <coughs> so, what is this kinetic energy? Look at here, the name itself, it is telling that uh, something else that is nothing but kinetic. Kinetic means motion, which means that moving body is having kinetic energy. Understand? Moving body is having kinetic energy. Also, we can define that the energy processed by moving bodies is known as kinetic energy. Understand? So, that way we can define the kinetic energy. And even we can uh, easily understand by seeing some pictures here. So, here. So, the man is uh, riding the bicycle. So, this fellow or this person is having uh, kinetic energy and also a bus is moving. So, this bus also having kinetic energy because of its motion. And now, aeroplane is uh, moving or aeroplane is flying. So, now observe that this aeroplane when it is flies, uh, it possesses two kind of energies. One is gravitational potential energy, one more is kinetic energy. The gravitational potential energy is because of the height, the kinetic energy is because of the motion. Since uh, this aeroplane is having both gravitational potential energy as well as kinetic energy. Now, let us see the formula for uh, general formula for kinetic energy. The general formula for kinetic energy is uh, half mv square. In that formula, m means mass of the body, v means velocity of the body, which means that Q is having the motion, the body is having this kinetic energy. So, this is all about the kinetic energy and potential energy, everything. Now, let us go for the next topic that is law of conservation of energy. The law of conservation of energy, if you see the statement, the statement is telling you the energy is neither be created nor be destroyed but it is changing from one form to other form. Understand? The energy is neither be created nor be destroyed, but it is changing from one form to other form. That is telling that law of conservation of energy. But children once think it here, what is the inner meaning of the this statement? The inner meaning of this statement is uh, the change in mechanical energy is zero. 
the change in mechanical energy is what? Zero. The inner meaning of this statement is what? Changing mechanical energy is zero. One more, one more also, in another way also you can say the children this statement, yes you are right, the other way is uh, mechanical energy is constant. What is that? Mechanical energy is constant or change in mechanical energy is zero, both represent the same thing, that is nothing but law of conservation of energy. So this is, you can apply for different situations to solve the problems. Let us see the situations here. The very first situation is a pendulum, a pendulum is oscillating. In this pendulum case, you can apply this law of conservation of energy to know the energy, total energy of the system. And one more thing here, a ball is dropping some certain height. In this case also, you can conserve the energy. So now, I will show how you will conserve the energy uh, in, the, in the cases. First, I will show with the freely falling body. So now, conservation of energy for freely falling body. Let me take, let me take a object is falling certain height. So this is an object, this object is falling certain height h. Imagine this is a height h. Now, this is the case, in this case we need to apply the law of conservation of energy. For that, I will choose three positions. The very first position is the topmost position and the other position is uh, in the journey, in its journey and one more situation is at uh, before reaching the ground. These three situations, I observe the energy. So in that energy, in the first case is, initially when it is dropping, its velocity is zero. Understand? When its velocity is zero, this position you can take as a position A, this position you can take position B, this position you can take position C. Three positions, at three position will observe the energy. Now, at position A, at A, at A position, let me observe the total energy. The total energy means total mechanical energy, you know, potential energy plus kinetic energy. But here, at A position, the total potential energy means mgh because the object having mass m and acceleration due to gravity is g and is at some height h since total energy potential energy become mgh but whereas the energy initially when it is falling initial velocity is zero which means that half m v square become m zero square because velocity is zero so that kinetic energy become zero so finally you will have mgh. So, that mechanical energy at A is mgh. Next, uh, at uh, B. Now, when you are observing the energy at B, look at here, it is covered already some x distance. When it is covered already some x distance, but it is at height of h minus x because this is at, uh, this is at already total height is h, but it is covered some x distance the remaining height is h minus x. Since uh, the object when it is at b position, it is at some height h, even it has some velocity, which means that the object having both potential energy and kinetic energy. So mechanical energy at b is equal to potential energy again kinetic energy. But can potential energy become what? mg h, h is nothing but here h minus x plus kinetic energy become half mv square. Finally, you will get uh, if you simplify mgh minus mgx plus half mv square you can write as 2gx and here 2 2 gets cancelled remaining thing is finally you will get mgh because this mgx this mgx also gets cancelled remaining thing is what? potential mechanical energy at B is equal to what? Mg. But you have a question here. The question is nothing but how do we have this V square as Mgx. Now, for that, we will use the equation of motion that is V square minus U square equal to 2Gx in that U value is 0. So, in that case, V square become what? 2Gx. So, that way we have energy V square value as 2gx so that we have mgh. Now next uh, 
mechanical energy at C. Here also mechanical energy at C also potential energy plus kinetic energy. Potential energy is nothing but due to height, but it is no height since potential energy is 0 and kinetic energy become half mv square. But here V value is uh, I can write a uh, 2gh. How we have 2gh here? Again, we are using the same formula V square minus U square equal to 2gh. Here U value is 0, so V square you will get as 2gh. This is the way you will get V square value as 2gh and 2 2 gets cancelled. Remaining thing is mechanical energy at C is equal to mgh. So finally, what is the conclusion you can get here? So at every instant, uh, at every position, the mechanical energy, total mechanical energy values remain same. So this is the way we can conserve the energy. And what are the conclusions you can get from this explanation? The conclusions are very first one is initially at A position, the object process total energy as potential energy. But as it is moving downward direction, it got converted into kinetic energy. Finally, when we go to reach the ground, the total potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. But one thing, total mechanical energy is remains the same. It is not going to be destroyed anywhere. So this is how we can conserve the energy. I know, I will give task for you children. The thing is, now conservation of, prove the conservation of energy for the simple pendulum when it is oscillating. Do it at home. So this is the way we can solve the problems. So I hope you have understood this. Today I am signing off. Bye-bye.